Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, said Psychic Medium, here to give you approximately 60 minutes of what I like to loosely call entertainment. I'll be answering your questions about life, love, career, finances, as well as helping you connect with loved ones on the other side. You can uh, call into the show to ask a question or connect, and the call-in number is 845-277-9131. Or if you are watching on YouTube, you can put your question in the chat. Okay, <clears throat> I am going to get started right away. And the first thing I'm going to say is please do not get scammed. I don't reach out to anyone. I will not tell you you need a reading or you need anything. And do please do not get scammed by anyone for anything. I'm going to uh, start with, um, I feel like for the Monday show and today's show, I feel like I'm getting into this part of the show very, very quickly and um, like I've forgotten something in between. I don't think so, but um, I am going to get started immediately. So uh, first and foremost, we are going to start with names. And the first name I hear just like being yelled at me is Joseph. And I'm just going to say that name and then tell you names can be your name, your loved one on the other side's name, a middle name I'm hearing. Um, they can be the name, a nickname, the name of a pet, a place, a, per a person, place, or thing. Okay. And then I hear Charles, and then I hear Michaela, and then I hear monkey. I know. And then I hear uh, Gerard. And then I hear um, Miss Dell. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I may not be, but I think so. And then the next name I am hearing is Linda, Lori, and then Huh. The next name is Lovey, L-O-V-E-Y. I think that's how you would spell that. Now I'm going to, um, I would normally go into songs at this point. So then if it's your song, their song. But I, I just have a little question for you guys because there's something really big taking up all the headlines on every story. And I just want to point something out to you. When they want you to look to the left, you have to look to the right. And um, right now, everything is about this Diddy thing, right? That's going on. And it's been going on forever. But now, right now is when it all goes down. I want you to start paying attention outside of that and which of our personal, and when I say personal, I mean the United States things, I have to be very careful of what I say and how I say it, they are signing away. Who of you knew the people from the UN and the WHO were in New York last week. Do you know what they signed? Well, all these things were going about the diddler. Look into it. Do your own homework. And on that note, I have a, a question for you. And the question is very important. How many of you, did any of you see even one picture, 
one news broadcast, one video of Epstein's funeral. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait. It's all a show, folks. Pay attention to what they're not putting the spotlight on. Is he still alive? Yes. Is he still on his island? Yes. Are they still doing what they did? Uh, 500,000 children that have come across the border are just poof gone. Can't find them. So on that note, let me do two or three songs for you guys. The songs could be, and that's, that's, that's another thing. Why isn't that headlining the news? I'll wait. Anyone? Anything? Look up what the UN and the WHO and our government signed this past week. Well, everybody was so captivated on a thousand bottles of baby oil that was really drugs and all the pictures of the toys, like we've never seen a toy before. But it kept their attention, didn't it? While they phew, things right under, right under the, right under the radar, right? Zelensky signing ammunition in PA. <laughs> How many of you saw that? How many of you saw that? I'll wait. So everybody wants to awaken, right? Everybody says, how do I awaken? How do I become more spiritual? How do I? The truth of the matter is being awake is seeing the truth of the matter and the energy and what's really going on. Not going into the facade any longer, not buying into the drama, not buying into the chaos, not buying into the reality of a lot of the things they push in front of you to keep you in drama and out of what is reality? And I'm going to tell you this. This is part of a book I'm writing right now. And I'm just, I'm going to give it to you guys right now. The truth is, if they can keep you in some sort of drama, any sort of drama, it lowers your frequency. Whether it's between you and a friend, a family member, a partner, wherever that drama is coming from, it's lowering your frequency. If you can... Go above that. And first, let me let me just back up a second. Any and all drama is to keep you preoccupied. And when you're preoccupied, you cannot raise your frequency to the level it needs to be so that you can see the freedom. And freedom means free of fear, free of any and all fear. You have no fear of losing anything, not that you're trying to lose things or you want to lose things. You just know, like you know, like you know, it's yours. It's your birthright. You have no fear of what the propaganda is being sent at you. You can see it being perfectly orchestrated like a play. And if they cannot control you with fear, anybody at any time, thank you, Gypsy. If they cannot control you with fear, they cannot control you. And that is, that is basically, that's part of the book. That's a small part of the book I'm writing. But let's get into the songs. I'm going to give you a couple of 
songs. And the only, first, before I do that, the only reason I brought up the funeral is because if there would have been one and it would have been legit, there would have been one, there would have been so much press on that. There would have been so much press on that. If I told you the people that were still alive that are supposedly passed, you would be shooketh. But it was a great distraction, right? It was such a good distraction. I wonder what they were passing while we were distracted with that. Hmm. Right? When you start to see it and you put all those pieces together, you don't buy into it and you just bought another piece of your personal freedom. Okay, songs. The first one is um, Time is on my side. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, I don't really know, know that song. I don't really know, know any of them. Unless we're talking like hip, some, some, some hip hop in some country. Okay, um, the next song is. Um, I lay me down, lay you down in a, I can't even get the beat of this. Let me lay you down is the next song. I don't really know it, but if you do, I think it has a country beat. If you know, you know. The next song is if you love me, let me know. If you don't, then let me go. And the next song is um, that taking care of business every day, taking care of business. That's the next song. Um, and I'm going to do one more. So, and again, these songs could be answering a question that you've had. They could be a song your loved one love, you love. Um, or that you've listened together, something that you know. And then the next one again, and I can't, um, I can't sing this. And this song has been on before. It's that song, something, 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 gasolina, something, 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 gasolina. <laughs> The Gasolina song that I couldn't even say half the words if I wanted to. But there you go. If you know, you know. That's my thing. If you know, you know. Um, okay. So here's what I'm going to say for today's show. And please, please know this. First of all, if you're on YouTube and you're asking me questions, please be subscribed. Second, if I've already answered this question for you once, have a new question. Otherwise, I'm just, I'm going to skip it. I'm just going to skip you because I've already answered it once. And we're not, we're, I'm not going to answer the exact same question over and over again for everybody. So please put in a new question for the, not, not only the sake of me, but everybody else. Remember, this show airs on WSCS, all of their streaming channels and uh, every podcast, uh, Rude Rangers TV and all of their streaming channels. Let's give the people something new. I'm going to take a caller and then a question from the chat. And that is exactly what we are doing today. I'm going to go to caller 610610. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Sarah. How are you? I'm good, Sarah. How are you? Not too bad. Enjoy your show. Thank you so much. How can I help you, love? Yeah, I wanted to call in because I'm looking for work um, since August, but um, I haven't landed anything yet. And uh, I've been looking, you know, customizing my resume, cover letter, networking on LinkedIn, passed on my resume and passed on the word to my past co-workers, um, even was contacted recently by a recruiter. So I'm doing a number of things and I'm doing it daily. Um, and it's, you know, it's a lot of work every time you have to customize a resume and a cover letter. And I'm trying to reach out to someone who works there to, to, um, send a message that I've been. So, um, seemed like a, what, 
month and a half now. I'm without a job, and I just wanted to see, you know, what you're picking up from me about my efforts and anything at all. Okay, Sarah, can I please ask you where do you what what like city state do you live in? Well, I mean, I'm not looking in my state because I've always worked remote for the reason that there's really nothing, you know, around here. Um, I've been working remote for the past what ten years now. Okay. I have a jobs in in IT that I work with. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. So I can work and, anywhere in the yeah, US. That's that's exactly why I was asking because I kept hearing like like small town no small town no small town no so thank you for sharing that with me the first thing i want to say is when i ask when i hear two months so i believe that's two months from when you started looking not two months from now but time will tell us please remember with all readings okay. no matter who's giving the reading the timelines can be off Okay, depending on a lot of different things. The next thing that I'm hearing is you are going to find something. It's it's coming in very, very soon. I feel like you may even see or hear about this tomorrow. What is Sarah? I don't I don't know if this makes sense to you. And I don't know why I'm hearing it, but I've learned no matter how ridiculous something sounds, just say it. And what I'm hearing is malt liquor. Malt liquor? <laughs> I can't even say it without laughing. I'm so sorry, love. Malt liquor. Malt like beer. I think it's beer. Malt, M-A-L-T, mm -hmm. liquor. Malt liquor. So maybe mm -hmm. there is a malt liquor company that is hiring and that will have something to do with it they are not saying go have some malt liquor that is not the case that is a solid no love um, but i do believe that if i'm hearing it it's so important to say and you might want to go Google malt liquor and look at the websites and the job postings on those sites and see what you come up with. Okay, love. Okay. I hope that was, I do. And I'm going to, I'm going to do this a little bit differently. Will she have a, will she get offered a job? Will she get offered a job in, what month are we in? Like, September, we right? We're in September. Okay, thank you. Yeah, September 24th, 25th. Uh, when I'm in the ethers, I it's if I'm not in the ethers, if I'm not connected to the energy, I would prop I might know what month it is, but in the ethers, that stuff doesn't really uh it's it hit it, it's a little different. Okay, so we're in September. I feel like the second week of October is when you will be, you could be offered something, meaning you're probably going to find it before then and it will lead up to that offer. I do need to tell you to please look at, yeah, go Google malt liquor, okay, love? Hello, that's reassuring because I haven't gotten one interview it's just rejection after rejection like thank you for replying and you know so this is reassuring thank you you're so welcome and you know there are if you want a remote position there are sites job sites that deal only with remote positions with remote positions only so i can't remember the name of that site but i feel like if you put that in a search that you you might be able to find it okay oh yeah i have i have okay. like 10 or 15 remote sites i'm looking all day i'm trying different channels i think i know all of them <laughs> okay good 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 excellent okay sweetie i wish you luck and i think something is gonna hit like they're saying today tomorrow but i always say give it a little extra time 
because their time frames are a little different than ours. Okay, beautiful. Sure, understood. Thank you so much, Tony. You are you're so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day, love. Thank you so much for calling in. I'm going to go to the first question on the um on the site. And the, it, actually, the first question is from Tracy, whose husband passed. And uh, Tracy, I did address this on Monday show, and I spent quite a bit of time on that. Yes, I, I am going to say this. Tracy, your dog and your husband that have both passed in a short time, and I'm so sorry for your loss. They are together and they love you. And again, I am hearing him say he's sorry. So I hope that's truly helpful for you. If you'd like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. If you are calling in to ask a question, please make sure you hit the one on the keypad so that I know you're asking a question. Uh, Gypsy, hi, Tony. I would love to know how my son and his girlfriend I'm, I'm paraphrasing here, I'm skipping a lot, uh, are doing together after living with each other two, they moved in two months ago and he is so private. That's good, Gypsy. He should be private about his adult life. Um, and I'm going to just say this, Gypsy, that's a sign of maturity and respect for his partner. I understand your concerns. What I will tell you is everything, I I know this isn't going to sound promising, everything is going fine. They're getting to know each other. There is a bit of a learning curve and an acclimation curve going on with them. She and he are doing, I hear, A-OK, -okay, and hopefully it will continue to go that way. Um, and that's what I have for you. I hope that's helpful, love. I truly do. I'm going to go to 458. 458, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Lorraine. I'm calling from Oregon. Hey, Lorraine. How can I help you today? Hi, I wanted to know if, if my son who passed away has any messages for me. What's his first name, please? Billy. Billy. And I need to ask you, Lorraine, did this happen? A pro did something happen approximately a year ago? What happened a year? Is that when he passed or did something happen then? No, he passed um, a couple of years ago. Okay, what happened a year Two ago? Two years ago. What happened a year ago? Um... I can't think of anything that happened a year ago. Okay, then this, this um, because the first thing I'm hearing is a year ago, a year ago, a year ago. So this either means something happened a year ago or something happened a year before he passed. I'm not sure how this is meant, Lorraine, but I'm gonna do my best if, if, um, did you have a memorial, like a remembrance on about a year ago? No, I, did, I didn't. Okay. No, I he, didn't. He is really stressing a year ago. So what? It, it could be a year before he passed, or it could be just something else. I don't know, but I hear a year ago. What? And it might and. You know what? Sometimes what happens, and I'm going to be really honest with you, sometimes people call in and as they should be, they are super focused on the one thing they called in for. And then later on, after, you know, the show is over and we are done talking, it will click to them, whatever it is. And it's okay if it doesn't or if nothing happened a year ago. I'm just going to give you the message from Billy. Um, <clears throat> the first thing that Billy would want to say to you is this should have never happened, especially not the way it did. 
this should have never happened, yeah. especially not the way it did. And thank you for confirming that. It's really, I love when people give me confirmations on the readings. It helps me so much to know I'm connected to the right energy. The next thing Billy wants to say to you is, hey, ma, or hey, mom, but I hear ma first and then mom. And then like walking in, like I see an image of walking in, like walking into the, the house and saying, hey, ma, and then um, just like that's that's the vision giving me and still does that hoping that you'll hear it even if only in your mind like the thought of it like you might think god i could uh -huh. swear i just heard him walk in he's tried <laughs> he's tried to give you i'm sorry i started laughing at that lovey dove i am so sorry he has tried to give you so many signs but you are so practical oh, you know what there's a lot of things that happen that are kind of like freaky like lights turning on yes he showed me um, yes things dropping yeah yes <laughs> but he's saying he was, he was a jokester yes, yes. He's saying sometimes you're practical or you're very like you're thinking, was that really it or no? It was. He is really working overtime to, he says, to F with you, to, to let you know he's there, but to mess with you. And then also, uh -huh. also to just to keep, keep, keep you like he wants you to laugh at it, not to um and to just know to know I his, about it. Uh, yeah <laughs> and, and to know it's yeah. him don't don't think oh well i need to change that light bulb or something like just know it's him just know he is steady messing he's even tried to make the the door the door that he would always walk into the house in he is trying to make that door sound like it's slamming so that it'll get your attention because he thinks that would be just hilarious well he was super intuitive you know very intuitive very psychic actually so i kind of think that it's him doing that but i wanted to see if i could get a confirmation from you oh my gosh yes all of it is him all of it is him and he has also been trying really very diligently using some kind of like, I'm going to say wildlife, but it's more like small, small, like birds, chipmunks, squirrels to look you in the eyes. So it's like him looking you in the eyes and I'm giggling at that because of the way he's saying it. He's trying to get you to have eye contact with them. So like any, so any like little wildlife a sm meaning a small like a bee a, whatever it is he's trying to get it to look you in the eye and and to say so that you have eye contact because that's even he's not the squirrel he's not the chipmunk he's not the the bee whatever it is but just to have that connection for a moment and let you know it's it's actually him showing you through um little small critters that he is there he also uh wants to say again it sh this shouldn't have happened especially not the way it did and he's real sorry for that he's it, like that's his like i'm real sorry for that i'm real sorry for that and then he's saying on christmas christmas i double check just to make sure he's gonna send you a really like i don't want to overstate this because when i say this people expect like a firework show in the sky but he's gonna send you something to let you know he's there no matter where you are what you're doing on christmas it could be christmas eve or christmas day he's gonna send you and i hear flashing okay now 
It's and, easy to say, you know what? We have Christmas tree lights that flash. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's it. But I, I think you're going to be, it's something that's going to make you go, oh, it might not be something in your house, maybe something on TV. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be something that really catches you. Okay, love? Okay. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. You are so welcome. You have an absolutely amazing rest of the night. Okay, sweetie? You have a beautiful night too. You too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So I, I just want to say, um, Tracy, I know um, I did give you a little bit of a message. I don't, please don't feel, feel badly. Um, I think in the message I gave you Monday, everything that could be said was said. Um, because as I tapped into it, just kept starting to repeat everything that was said Monday about just knowing this was on him, not you. So I'm going to go to the next, um, I'm going to go to the next uh, question in the chat. So I hope it's the next question. So if you would like to, um, ask a question, you can call in 845-277-9131, or you can put it in YouTube chat. If you are on YouTube, please remember I go live every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Okay, I already answered that question. Going to the next one. Terry, hi, Miss Tony. Hi, Terry. Um, Will things in the committees go smoothly for me in the next two months? Feels like they're getting stressed. I think that says getting stressed outside of work. Will things in the committees go smooth for me in the next two months? Yes. You know what I hear for you, Terry, which is odd? Well, not really. It's not. Lay low. Just lay low. I don't know why they're saying that. But just lay low. Don't worry about things. Um, and lay low may mean just like in your... Um, in your emotions or in your worries just kind of lay low like don't let it be at the forefront don't let it bother you just kick back lay low whatever that means for you terry i think that that's um what they want to say for you uh and yeah that's it <clears throat> Okay, Nancy. I'm gonna go to the next caller who is 111. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Miss Tony. I'm just uh, Colorado and it's so nice to get back on the air. And, and I'm sorry that blocked off. Um, it wasn't working for you. Uh, and thank you for not, not giving up. Thank you very much, Miss Tony. Thank you. A absolutely. And I'm sorry, I missed your name in the beginning. What's your name? Uh, Melissa Colorado. Okay. How can I help you, love? Um, Miss Tony, are you going to, um, are you going to, like, see, I am sorry, sorry, uh, uh, I said it wrong. Apologize, apologize. Can you please let me know? <clears throat> and, um, I'll, I'll, I'm expecting some form of communication i'm not sure which way it's going to come about and kind of it's okay to ask i know the time from i know i heard your show so many times and i know what you what you say but if you could just narrow it it may be a season or or about a week and i i'm trying to see the, the outcome of my my friendship with my with my male friend um needing his assistance yeah, do you see us communicating? It's it's a it's a it's a friendship. I 
Okay, so you yeah, have. Yeah, I, I, I don't force your will. Uh, so you have a male friend, and you want to know if I see you communicating with him again. Is that correct, love? Yeah. And yes, I mean, you, you see, maybe the season or, or, yes, thank you. So, yes, yes, let's, go ahead. Yes. Can you please just give me the first letter of his first name, just so I make sure I'm tapping into the right connection here? Yes, I'm also putting him, I'm putting him in my head right now, so I'm sure you can see it. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go by, let me see what letter. <laughs> Jay, like, Jay like the Joker. <laughs> okay, thank you. And you know, you guys, just just for the record here, I cannot read or see your thoughts at all. And that, if I could, I would be a freaking millionaire because that's a gift I might corrupt. <laughs> I'm just saying I might be corrupt with that gift if I could. I mean, I mean, I'm still human. If I could read your thoughts, I would be like on a stage in Vegas, just having the most fun with it. Just saying. So I can't really, um, just because you put it in your mind, it doesn't mean I'm picking it up, but I'm going to do my best. Um, sweetie, this is a very, very, very problematic situation, unfortunately. And I don't go anywhere. Just please hear this all the way out. Um, this person and or you have completely different styles of either communicating or thinking about even like how a friendship or a relationship or any type of anything should go. And there's, um, there's, I think it, I'm going to say the miscommunications or misunderstandings have been um, qu quite a few or quite a big one, whatever it is. And the, the short answer is unfortunately no, but the good answer is, but that's for your benefit. And I'm going to be so bold as to say, I feel like this other person got a lot more out of this situation than you did. I hear someone, I don't think it was you, but I hear there might have been some manipulation in this situation. And I'm going to say you may not even be aware of that yet. Because sometimes when a situation ends, we're so concerned about getting, you know, when am I going to talk to this person? When are we going to communicate? That we don't really look back at, back at the situation objectively to see how everything went. And sometimes, and I did a clearing on this earlier today, love, sometimes we just take the blame for everything. I think I did that today. Maybe I did that earlier this <clears throat> <clears throat> earlier this this month but um here's the thing whatever clearing i did today you need that one i can't remember off the top of my head and then the find find the one of taking the blame and do that one too i feel like this person is not in your highest good they're not in your highest they're they're not if uh, sometimes we just have to let go and and be okay and know it's okay to let go that person's going to be okay you're going to be okay you just need to go your separate ways okay love um i hope that was helpful i know it's probably not the answer that you wanted but it's the answer that you needed. I would rather know some things. I can move on from it and it's clear. Um, 
then have to think about if or when something's going to pop up on me. So I hope that's helpful, love. And there are new people coming into your life that are going to be uh, more e of an equal give and take, more genuine people. Okay, love? If you'd like to call in and ask a question, the call-in number is 845-277-9100. Okay. Nancy wants to know, hi, Tony. Hey, Nancy. I would love a message from my mother, Pearl. <clears throat> okay, Pearl. She was funky. Um, Nancy, I'm actually going to scroll all the way down. And if you could give me some confirmations on this, that would be great. She was very spunky, kind of sassy. Um, and her first, I see a white, well, I see a small pet. I see a small pet. Sometimes I get the color off. I am seeing white, but I see a smaller, like, pet with her, family pet. I don't know if it's hers, yours, or somebody else's, but I do see a pet. That's the first thing I'm seeing. Uh, if you could please let me know, Nancy, if that is uh, anywhere accurate. The next thing I am getting from her is um, the song, leave me alone, let me go home, let me go home and get sober, <laughs> or start over. <laughs> I don't, either way, start over and get sober, get sober and start over. I don't know, that song, that's the first song I'm hearing, love. Um, uh, but that I think, I don't know what that song means for you, if it's a song that was of her time or whatever. But uh, the next thing she wants to say is, is um, give me something else. Other than that, what would you say? The next thing she's showing me, and this has been coming up so much, you guys. I, it's only September. We discussed this already. It's September. There's a Christmas ornament that's a homemade Christmas ornament that she's showing me. And that's her confirmation for you, Nancy. Um, so I hope that's helpful. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Going to the next caller, who is 856. 856, what's your name and where are you calling from? 856. 856. Yeah, that's not happening. I don't even know what that is or what that was, but uh, we're going to let that go. And I'm going to go to the next caller, 678. 678, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Sonia, and I'm calling from Georgia. Hey, Sonia, how can I help you today? I would just like a general. I don't do, um, I know you're probably new to the show. Thank you for joining. It's easier for me if you just give me an exact question or a uh, loved one you'd like to connect with because there are a lot of people waiting, and it's easier. So I give everybody one question, love. Um, could you just give me a general on my love life? Oops, she accidentally got disconnected. Um, let me see. I'm going to go to this one. Hi, Miss Tony. Will I meet a female friend that I can trust and can you describe <laughs> what she is like? All right, folks. Um, will you meet a female friend you can trust? Uh, you know what? I feel like after the new year, you're going to have some good friends come. 
at least a good friend coming in. Um, and this is what I'm going to tell you, Yvette. I've worked in a lot of different industries with women. I've had female friends. I'm just going to say no one should know that much about you, not even your partner anymore. Um, I know that sounds very pessimistic, um, but what I'm going to say is uh, if I if I could give you a good message here, the best possible message, our friends are not in the past maybe it takes time to bring to have someone come into your life and like really vet them and to know you can trust them we want to trust people right away i'm i'm just going to give you a, a a little bitty example there was a female that came into my life and i i don't typically let people into my life for a lot of different reasons. And <clears throat> after us being friends for about a year, this person made this comment and it was, why do you get this guy and I don't. Right there, that tells me there's a lot of jealousy in that situation. And, you know, I should have ended it right there. Unfortunately, I didn't. But women can be extremely competitive. So whomever comes into your life, just be smart about it. Take your time with it. And our friends are not supposed to be the person we put all of our eggs into their baskets. Go out, have fun, enjoy time, shop, go to the spa, do whatever you do with them. But I have a lot, I do not know what happened to people. If anybody else feels that, please let me know you feel that. I do not know what happened to people, but I, mm, I'm not the right person. I can't even get, I can't even, I would love, I would love to be able to give you a better mess. All I can say is in the new year, better people are going to be coming into your life and I'm letting that go. Um, hey, Peter, how are you? I'm going to go to, uh, please give me a specific question and or a person from the other side that you'd like to connect with, I'll be happy to do that. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try to find, uh, oh, Terry T, that's so sweet. I'm so happy you were watching. You guys, a couple of weeks ago, I was on the Peter G show. So if you didn't see that, go go to Peter G's page and watch that show. It was such a good, such a good show. Okay, Elizabeth wants to know, I'm working up, waking up. I'm sorry, I'm waking up. I just want to take this light off of me right now. It's so bright. Um, I'm waking up at 2.30 a.m. Can't go back to sleep when I do sleep. I have nightmares. Yeah, I know what that is, Terry. Um, Elizabeth, I'm sorry. Um, Elizabeth, I know exactly what that is, but I can't remember what they are. I'm, I'm complete. Okay, Elizabeth, I'm going to tell you what you can do to help this. Um, take a bowl or a cup, and it needs to be glass, and put it near the head of the bed, but on the floor. Make sure you put some 
not iodized salt, but if you have sea salt, Himalayan salt, something along those lines in the water. And then leave it there while you sleep. Um, I'm going to do a clearing for you and everybody else who's listening or watching. We're going to clear out everything. Oh, I feel that. I don't know if anybody else feels that. If you feel that on the back of your head, let me know. Ah, uh, la la. Uh, Elizabeth, I hope that helps. Um, Gypsy Ann, you are welcome. Hey, Grandma Kitty, how are you? Hey, Amy, my hey, Amy May, how are you? Um, curious if my mom or brother have a special message regarding what happened to my son. Um, the first thing before I even even finish the question is take it easy. The song, take it easy. That song comes in. Um, the next thing is um, every little thing is going to be all right. Take your time. Don't, that's just, that's not a song now. Take your time. Don't panic. Things are going to work out. That's what I'm hearing, Amy. I hope that that is very, very helpful for you. Um, so, um, yes. Okay. Da, 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 da. Hi, Phyllis. Um, may I have a reading if it's possible? General reading. I do exact questions. So there were two people on here who, who want just general. Please give me an exact question. I'm scrolling down. If I come across you and you have put an exact question in, I will be happy to read on that. Okay. I would like to know what is going on with my health. Fair enough, Phyllis. A health. What's going on with Phyllis's health? It's something you're taking. Now, it's not something in, you're ingesting like food or it's something you're taking, okay? So go through the things that you are taking and look at the side effects is what I'm hearing. And you can comment below to let me know um, what you, how you feel about that, okay? Um, so, uh, can you please tell me, Emily wants to know, can you please tell me anything from my grandparents or my friend, Emily? I keep getting numbers lately, but I don't know what they mean. Okay. Emily, uh, please give me the name of your grandparents, uh, either one or your friend. I'm getting your grandparents, but I still like their name. Emily, please give me um, the name of your grandparents, um, at least one of them. And then I hear, instantly I hear something about on. Condor or on Condor. I'm not sure if I'm saying the were they ethnic. Um, Emily, I'm gonna put you up on screen so you know this is you. Were they did were they ethnic? Because I'm not really understanding this first thing. Uh Rick and Rebecca and Julius. Maybe Julius is the one. Does on does Condor mean? Can you is it ringing any bells? If it doesn't now, it might later. Okay, so Rick and Rebecca, I'm guessing, are the grandparents. I'm, I'm going to do one of them. Rick and Rebecca are, where are you? There. Okay. Okay. 
It's odd. The first thing I hear is Maleficent. And I only know that from the movie. I don't know if that makes sense to you or if it rings true, if you like that. I, that uh, Maleficent, that's just the first thing I'm hearing. The next thing I'm hearing from them for you is don't let little things become big things in your mind. Don't let the little little things in reality become the big things in your mind. Go for for more. And I think this has something to do with either your career choice, your work or schooling. Like go for for more. Take get as much as you can. Take don't um, don't stop. Just keep going until you reach where you're going to be. I feel like I, I need to know, um, Emily, Emily, you're still with me, right? Uh, what are you in school or are you thinking of going back to school? And are you thinking of business like a business? Because I keep hearing business, business, business. And with the message I'm getting, if you're not in business, have you thought about going into business? Because the way me personally this message might mean something completely different to you love um okay okay uh okay so she says thank you and i have you thought about going for business or have you thought about uh opening a business she said i started my life over and went back and went back to school after my town burned down. Okay, have you, I feel like one of the things that I'm getting for you, Emily, is like, take it all, like take it all, just take everything you can. Not like if you can start a business and make it go as far as you can, do that, it's going to be really good for you. If you can start doing something that is, um, like if you're in a job or a career, just go as far as you can, push it as far as you can. Or if you're in school, take, take all the education that you can. Whatever you're doing, whatever wherever you're going, do as much of it as you can. Does that make sense for you? Emily. Um, and then don't slow down. There will be plenty of time for you to slow down once you get to a certain point. And I'm sorry that your your town burned down. That's that's uh, that's a bit interesting. Emily, I really hope that helps you. They love you and they care about you and they're helping you to get where it is you want to be. So I hope that's helpful for you. Um, Emily, I have a book I'm working on, but I don't really know about a business. Okay, then it's the book. Like I said, if it's if it's a, a school, then take everything with the ninety seconds. Whatever it is, whatever it is you're working on, what whatever it is, um, take it as far as you can. So if it's the book, take the book as far as you can. Get everything you can for it. If it's a business or if it's schooling, whatever it is, take it as far as you can. I hope that really, really makes sense for you, love. I really do. Okay, everybody. Um, thank you seconds. so much for joining me here today. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Um, I will be back Monday. I might do a pop-up show, but I always say that, so I don't know. But Monday, I'll be back at noon central. You can join me then. Until then, have an absolutely amazing rest of the day.